Hey guys, Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and today I want to say Happy New Year to everyone that is watching, people that's been following us over the years, and the people that's been following us recently, and if you're new to the channel, then welcome. So Happy New Year to 2020. Today's episode is going to be special. Like I said last week, or the week prior, then for the next couple of weeks, we'll be going over all of the colored stones, or at least the most popular ones anyway, by color okay so today we'll be going over red gemstones and three of the most popular red gemstones is garnet topaz and ruby and i'm gonna get right into it for you all right so the first stone that i will be going over is called a blazing red topaz has many different colors. In today's episode, obviously, we're going over the red topaz. Now, what kind of mineral is a topaz? Um, it's a silicate mineral. And again, what that basically is, is a rock-forming mineral that is made of silicate groups that are the largest and most important class of minerals that make up approximately 90% of the Earth's crust. Uh, the blazing red topaz weighs in the Mohs scale in terms of hardness as an 8 out of 10 and is available in both a natural and a lab. It has a beautiful red color to it. The second gemstone that I'll be going over is a garnet. Okay, Now a garnet is also a silicon mineral and on the Mohs scale measuring its hardness is between a 6.5 to a 7.5 and it's also available as a natural and a lab. And the final and most, I would say, most popular or more, most well-known red gemstone in the world is the ruby. Uh, ruby is made of the mineral corundum. Now, if you have not checked out the Ruby episode, definitely check that out. Uh, I definitely break it down into much more detail than I do here. But that being said, the mineral that is made of Ruby is made of corundum with a hint of chromium, okay? Uh, on a Mohs scale out of 10, the hardness is a nine and it's also available in a natural lab. That being said, let me know what you think. Did I miss a red gemstone that you think is should have been included? Is there a specific gemstone that you want me to go over? Is there any kind of material when it comes to red gemstones that you would like for me to cover? Put it in the comments below, message us, comment below, let us know what you think, and we may actually put it on the list and make an episode just for you, okay? So that being said, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Happy New Year, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.